Another fire near Tooele earlier this month, the Cypress Fire burned 236 acres, several power poles and injured a baby jackrabbit. Luckily for that wild animal, a state trooper and a Tooele woman came to its rescue. But it does beg the question, what should you do if you find an animal in need? Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser has the answer. Crispy ears, singed whiskers, and a burnt nose. These all look good. That one's missing. This baby jackrabbit rose from the ashes and is in the process of bouncing back. She's obviously very fragile. The animal's home went up in the flames of the Cypress Fire near Tooele a week and a half ago. A state trooper saw her, scooped her up, and took her to a Tooele vet where a woman offered to take her home. It's sad, it's hard, but I mean, she feels better, so it's been worth it. Kalina Gary named her Cinder Jacqueline and has been caring for the creature and taking her to a local vet. She is spunky. She does. She's a wild animal through and through. It typically does do more harm than good when people try to take matters into their own hands. The Division of Wildlife Resources says in these scenarios, animals become too dependent on humans. So when it's released, like typically we see that these animals just end up dying. Faith Heaton Jolly says you need a certificate of registration to keep a jackrabbit captive. You also have to be a licensed wildlife rehabilitator in Utah to rehabilitate it. That they can take care of it, get it back to health, and then release it so that it transitions well. Gary says Cinder Jacqueline is set to see a wildlife specialist soon. The original goal was to bring her back to the wild, but if that's not what's best, she'll look into registering her as a pet. There will be someone that will. Love her forever if I can't. Reporting in Tooele, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah. If you see an animal hurt or in pain, call Local Animal Control or the Division of Wildlife Resources. They are the experts and will know what to do next.